Namaste. Today I am going to talk about uh, one uh, quality of the mind which many people have where the mind refuses to accept the flaws which that person has. Everyone has flaws, nobody is perfect. But if we can accept and say, yes, I am a little short tempered, so I must work on it. Or if you say, yes, I am a little bit lazy, I must improve my time management, I must do things on time, then there is progress. But if we refuse to even identify or, or even to acknowledge the flaws, then improving or progressing does not happen at all. Once a person recognizes the flaws, then lot of changes happen in that person's mind. And I have seen this again and again in my counseling sessions, in my classes. So many people's minds have completely changed. Once they started meditating, they could see what was wrong with their own behavior. Once uh, there was this gentleman who attended my basic class, alpha meditation class, and he attended and went away and I met him after maybe two months. When he met me, the first thing he came and said is, he said, thank you so much. I wish I had met you at least 20 years earlier, 30 years earlier. I said, why? He said, today I'm 70 years old and I have lived my life in a certain way. He said, but that day after I attended the class, did all the meditations with you. And then when I went home, I saw the atmosphere at home and he said, it struck me immediately that I have to change. He said, I have always been egoistic. I always thought that I am the head of this family. So everybody should respect me. And uh, I kept everyone at a distance. He says, even my wife cannot come and sit next to me. I used to keep her at a distance. That was my way of life. That is what I thought was right. But he said this meditation did something inside me after the whole class, after so many meditations. In the evening when I went home, he said, I suddenly realized that I had wasted my life because I had never even allowed my family members to come closer to me. I had never felt their love. I had never given them my love either. The mind was totally closed. I was living in my own egoistic uh, bubble and that bubble burst that day. So he said, as soon as I went home, uh, he said, I sat down, I thought about this. And then he said, I called my wife. She was... Uh, hesitating so much to come near me but I said come and sit next to me and then he said there were tears in her eyes and then he called his uh, son he says he called his grandchildren and uh, made the little one sit on his lap and he was playing with the children and he says everybody in the house was totally surprised they said what's happening to me but nobody had the uh, courage to ask him anything but he said after that what happened is once he broke the ice kind of he says after that people started coming closer to him. There are a lot of people in his families. He has two sons. So daughters-in-law are there and then the grandchildren are there. Then wife is there. Then his very elderly mother is also there. So all of them started coming closer to him, talking to him. And he says, I feel so much love in the family now. He says, I'm 70 years old and I've missed all this throughout my life. I feel like living my life all over once again, he said. And uh, I was really touched to hear this from a 70 year old. It is, it comes from the heart. So if we have some flaws, if, you, if there is ego in the mind, that ego does not allow us to see the flaws. So examine yourself, reflect upon your own emotions, your own thoughts, watch your thoughts, watch your emotions, see whether you can break certain walls that you have built around yourself. Whatever flaws are there, see whether you can set them right and make your life much, much better.